When I say Mars, what do you usually imagine? Of course, apart from the chocolate bar. A red cold planet with barren lands and dusty winds, where humans can only dream of living. But, this red neighbor is quite tricky to understand considering its mysteries. Mars is usually considered as a top option when the question arises, if not Earth then where? Scientists believe that Mars was once a planet that contained an enormous amount of water and flourished some kind of life. They kept chasing the planet to study its geology, atmosphere and weather, and with every finding, they seemingly inched near the solution. Recently, new research has suggested that a colossal volcano on Mars, which is also the biggest volcano in the solar system, was once an island. Now, I don't know about you, but I find it very interesting as with this research we can potentially solve the mystery of early life on Mars. Or can we? Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. For years, we have been making various efforts to hunt life on Mars including the launch of Mariner 4, Phoenix Lander, and the recent involvement of AI. More on that later. Now, we have an addition with new research that aims to find out if life on Mars must have been growing in a huge ocean. A group of scientists from the National Center for Scientific Research of France conducted a study proposing that Olympus Mons, a giant volcano on Mars which is nearly the size of France, may once have been an island. According to these scientists, Olympus Mons shares morphological similarities with active volcanic islands on Earth, as they observed three similar active volcano islands on Earth that are Pico Island in Portugal, Fogo Island in Canada, and the island of Hawaii in the US. On Earth, volcanic islands are formed due to volcanoes erupting on the ocean bed, often near the boundaries of the tectonic plates. The French scientists also proposed that this gigantic and flat volcanic mountain was most likely formed by lava flowing into liquid water just as islands are formed here back at home. This simply means that Olympus Mons is sitting on top of a dried up ocean that once was flowing like any other ocean on Earth. The authors of this research paper have noted that further research might help to know the age of Olympus Mons, what happened to the water on Mars, and if it had sustained any form of life. Just for your information, Olympus Mons is three times higher than Mount Everest and its creation has been an interplanetary mystery. The French scientists also believe that another volcano on Mars, the Olbermons Mountains which is nearly 1,000 miles away from Olympus Mons, is also eligible for their Martian Ocean theory. Now, let's come back to that line where I said AI will also participate in the hunt for life on Mars. Mars has been a hotspot for researchers, astronomers and scientists who are relentlessly searching for a tiny piece of evidence that hints towards the fact that Mars is fairly habitable to bear some form of life. It is strongly believed that before the AI makes rounds to Mars for hunting aliens or any kind of life, it should be trained here on Earth first. A team of researchers has successfully trained an AI to map biosignatures on the terrain of the intensely dry and hot Atacama desert in Chile. What are biosignatures, you ask? Those are any characteristics, elements, molecules, substances, or features that can be used as evidence for the past or present life. Chile's Atacama desert doesn't necessarily fall under the inhabitable category. But, due to its fractal-like ridge networks, patterned ground and shrinkage cracked terrains of abiotic or biotic origin, the researchers have quoted it as one of the most Mars-like environments on Earth. Time for a quick backstory. Kimberly Warren Rhodes, the team lead of this research, 
has been hunting biosignatures since the early 2000s when she realized there were barely any tools existed to study the biology of other planets. In 2016, Warren Rhodes' group traveled to the high-potched plateau of the Otacoma Desert at an elevation of around 3,500 meters in Chile to look for rock dwelling, photosynthetic organisms called endoliths. The researchers collected everything from drone footage to geochemical analyses to DNA sequences. Interestingly, this dataset mimicked the types of information researchers are hunting and collecting on Mars with orbital satellites, drones and rovers. She wanted to combine her background in statistical ecology with emerging technologies like AI to help mission scientists who are under a lot of pressure to find biosignatures with an added struggle of how they do so. Now, if I talk about rovers, they are created to chase biosignatures but are controlled remotely from Earth. They can travel only limited distances and relatively collect few specimens, placing a premium on sampling locations that are the most likely to yield life. Well, you need to see how AI outperforms rovers and of course humans. Warren Rhodes' team fed the previously collected data into the AI. The aim was to train the AI to recognize which specific locations on the map might have the highest probability of supporting life. And it worked superbly well. The AI was able to successfully locate life-supporting biosignatures with 56.9 to 87.5% accuracy. With this, the researchers were able to reduce their search area by up to 97%. If this data is overwhelming, then just cut through the clutter and focus on the fact that humans had a success rate of less than 10% in contrast to AI. Now, that difference is huge. The new AI developed method will need some verification across multiple ecosystems, including those with more complex geology and greater biodiversity. Now, the Otacoma desert is relatively simple in terms of the habitats and the types of life that are likely to be found there. On Mars, the high level of ultraviolet radiation striking the planet's surface means that scientists might need to detect clues that hint at life below ground. To have our team make one of these first steps towards reliably detecting biosignatures using AI is exciting, says research team lead Warren Rhodes. As we have known, the red planet according to previous research and findings was wetter, warmer, and more habitable than today's parched desert. This remains a challenge for researchers who are working day and night in search of a single hint of life on Mars. Even if Mars did once host life, the key questions that are keeping scientists up are, how did such life impact the planet? And where could we find evidence for its past existence? The budding AI project is a foresighted opportunity to pursue life on Mars that will not only give a boost to the hunt but will also ease a ton of ongoing technological barriers that scientists are facing. Despite all the failed attempts, AI comes in as a ray of hope that researchers are clinging to find alien life. But, we need to hang tight until the AI project kickstarts which will take a fair amount of research experiments, and tests. And, not to miss, a lot of patience. Till then we can only wait and think of fascinating theories, our favorite pastime. These questions though will always remain unanswered. Till then, will the AI progress its way out to detect Martian life? Or, will scientists face another form of disappointment? I guess time will tell us the truth. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360 because together we will explore.